so you know, get it right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is the same Toon Link that got F done. He redeemed himself tonight by putting the defending two-time MSM champ into losers. I don't even know what round that was. Like we weren't even. I, I, I don't like, even know, was, man. That wasn't even like to get out of pools or anything. I'm assuming so. Like, seemed pretty early. I'm pretty sure he'll get out of pools now, though, with that. Or at least he better. Marco? Uh, Marco's better. I mean, I'm sure. But you never know. But right now, you we have what know. I would arguably consider the best Lucina player that we have over in Southern California. That's Valadin. Heck He's been yeah. getting some consistent placements. Well, the players like Larry and Void and Charlie were all not here yet. He's one of those players that I would consider probably the new HPRs, I'm going to go ahead and call it. Yeah. I think if I wasn't mistaken, like right towards the end or pre-quarantine uh, period, he was like... He was pushing up. He was like HM, right? Honorable mention. He was like pushing yeah. up against the PR. So, but now, right now, in this new season, right now, we're gonna go ahead and see Valadin's Marth. I like seeing his Marth. Why hey. did I say Lucina earlier? I know he can do both, but still, I like that he's going in, putting in the work with Marth lately. Yeah, we got a bit of a Fire Emblem duel here. We got Ike versus Marth. Uh, who's the better character? I feel like most people would say Ike. But oh yeah, you gotta say know. Ike. I mean, literally, his initials are I K E. I kill everyone. Oh, I didn't not ever put that together, man. But. He certainly does kill everyone. Pretty big character, heavy hitting. He's got the combos for it. I mean, but the lore, a lot of people in Fire Emblem like actually really like the character and watching his playthroughs. I certainly have loved watching the playthroughs for it and playing it myself. But in terms of the actual characters in the game, Marth is still the veteran when it goes and comes to it. Playing all the way from Marth, all the, sorry, Melee all the way up till now. Love every single iteration of Marth or hate him if you must, but I loving it. Yeah, true. I mean, Marth is a cool character in any game. It's just, you know, a lot. he's a lot better in, in other games, mainly Melee. He's a lot better in Melee. And, and honestly, like, a lot of people would say this is, like, the worst version of him. But we'll see. Well, I mean, he, he doesn't have got he, that tipper. He doesn't so. got that sticky arm grab where he grabs you across the stage or yeah. across from another TV Yeah, sometimes. I don't think that was, like, the only thing that made him good. <laughs> but, yeah, like, he, he had a crazy grab. It sure heck helped. Still, the two heavy hits combat back and forth, good tippers, good solid hits over coming out from Ike and, uh... That's Devoid, isn't it, right? David? I think it's just David, but with a Q. I yeah, don't know David why. with a Q. Uh, <laughs> and Valadin. Ooh, David with a Q, working it out. Got him off the stage there. He almost took the first stock. Still on our first stock here. I feel like... Yeah, I know. It feels like both players are really trying to space each other out. Dude, I mean, it's just one hit here. All right. Grab, back throw, put him off stage. Let's him get to the ledge. Yeah. yeah. He's trying to go ahead and frame him with the forward tilt afterwards. He's just spacing max distance Ooh. as possible. That's what I was waiting for. Just one overcommitment onto the shield. Down, dolphin flash. Dolphin slash at a shield. It's going to take the stock. You're right. Oh, tries the dance blade in there, but he's not able to get the punishment after, afterwards. Valadin starting to go ahead and take some of this percentage. The parry's back and forth. Both are trading it like it's some sort of anime duel. <laughs> oh, well, I guess it is kind of. I mean, you don't, right. think, you don't think they're basically anime characters fighting back and forth? Uh, they're definitely anime. <laughs> Almost, or a little bit. A little no, bit. No, they're, they're, they're full on anime. These are anime characters for sure. <laughs> How do we get anime characters in my Smash Brothers? <laughs> I put more anime characters in my Smash Bros. I don't know. <laughs> Working on with that. I like All the right. opinion. I like the opinion. All right, dude. The Latin just keeping, uh, keeping David here at the edge. Ooh, oh. good tipper forward tilt. Valadin already commanding commanding three two stocks lead on him right now. But gets the forward tilt out there. David with the Q. Actually really worked really hard at that. I like it. Ooh. Good setups, good juggles. But Valadin already putting on 50%. Gets the dolphin slash out of the combo. The dude with the Q's gonna throw have to, back air. That was a pretty good percentage, but it's, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to go ahead and get Valad to go ahead and start making Valadin sweat. Steps back, gets the forward tilt. I like it. Just narrow that into up air. This could be death. Oh, but it's not. He gets back to stage. Parries it into the buppy, but not able to kill. I think his jump is gone, but he's maxed it just to make back into the ledge. Oh, uh, that dancing blade actually would have been pretty disastrous, but he gets the back air with that. David Kibuki, I, you know he wants to get an air into something. Oh, definitely. I mean, what I player doesn't, but he gets the grab and goes in and settles for throwing him off stage. Yeah. Ooh, good forward tilt. You know what? I haven't seen too many down tilts. I know. I know this character has some conversions off of the down tilt too. 
Well, you know what? I actually I haven't seen any of yet. Whoa! Okay, he tried to go and get that up smash. Vladin slaps his knee actually on the side there because he should have gotten the kill there after it, but not quite able to. So then a little bit of that frustration started to settle into with the Q. Might have an opportunity, but up throw? Up back throw. Mm, yeah, not quite yet. I know, Ike Heavy. You right. Tries to get the forward tilt, and he finally, after the third forward tilt, finally connects the tipper. He just kept takes doing the it, first <laughs> Do it again. That's hilarious. Do it again. I mean, hey, that's that's what it's like to play with disjoints. You just uh, do it again. Keep doing them. <laughs> that's the idea. If you if you don't succeed at first, try, try, try again. Yeah. Just like Marcos. Yeah, man, he's back, dude. I personally, like, honestly, like, kudos to him for even, like, coming back today, right? Like, no shade, honestly, but, like, I'm, if it was me, like, I, I might have just, I might have just hung up the controller. Yeah, no, like, delete everything off of it. I'm, but just, not, I'm just not a Smash player anymore, like, at that point. <laughs> but anyway, we got more anime chess characters that like to go and have romances with each other, fighting each other at this moment. Crumb versus Marth. I'll actually pretty soon with that. Okay, the switch to Crumb. Some pretty good meaty hits there. I don't know how well this is actually going to work out for him, though. I know with the loss of that side B movement, it might be harder for him to get back to stage. Vladin seemed to be hitting him pretty far off the stage last time. But, you know, with different characters come different physics. Yeah, I think um, Krom is a little bit of a quicker Ooh, character. Ooh, ballsy! He goes ahead off. and actually parried that! Look at that. I feel like... Uh, you know what I haven't seen yet, and I'm surprised neither player has implemented it yet? The drop down counter. You know where they're going to recover. You mm -hmm. can just All you have to do is just drop down and counter them. Good reach over from the yeah, I feel like that might be a little too risky, though. You can, you can activate that counter onto, um, at least onto Krom from on the stage, too, if he's not spacing that correctly. Oh, absolutely, and yet I haven't seen either character use it yet. Yeah. Maybe that's for a reason, though, you know? That's, that's all I'm trying to say. I don't know, maybe it could be too obvious they're watching out for it and they don't want to go ahead and do that yet, but the moment they see them do it, then they can punish them for that commitment. Something like that. Yeah, it's possible. Some high-level high Q high mumbo jumbo. Or yeah. simplicity sake. <laughs> you know. There oh, like that! There like I'm is. saying! I was like, why weren't they using it? But there he goes, he does it to him. I just think it's not a thing that you can really just like throw out every single time. They'll probably get punished for it most why often, not? more often than not. But if if they if if you go ahead and you time it just right. Then they gotta just go ahead and follow it down to the bottom of the stage. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but he didn't even do it. He didn't even go off the stage for that one. He he just stayed on stage like I had mentioned. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you can do it like that, you got the timing for it. Why not do it again? Right. Two stocks apiece here. David uh, taking a little bit more percentage than Vladin. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was able to do it again. Do it again. Dolphin slash. Dolphin slash. Not getting punished for it. I mean, if it's free like that, you might as well keep going for it. Still, David trying to be a little more cautious with that. You can see he actually spot dodged after he got the hit. He thought that he probably was going to block it. Ah, there's the counter for it. But you can't. it's it's risky to go ahead and do that on stage like that. Ooh, good spot dodge. Yeah, there's another counter. Dang, goes deep for that forward air. Uh, preventing David from ever coming back to the stage. He's down to his last life here. On potentially game point. Four of Aladdin. Absolutely. He's working out of the side there. Set Just point. Taking even. it one hit at a time. Swing number one at 58%. Swing number two, oh. 65%. Moving it off the side. Another swing. 73%. Not too much for that. Another swing. The Dolphin Slash tries to get him with that forward air. Not able to go ahead and quite knock it out quite yet. Aladdin moving back and forth with it. Gets the tipper of the of the neutral beat. And then finally. Do you think he's gonna actually? I, I feel like it. I feel like it's coming in just a second. What's coming? One strong hit. That's all it's gonna take. Well, hey, I mean, this is still like not out of the question for David. Well, he is down a stock, but and it's looking kind of rough though. He literally dolphin slashes out of the, the new out of that. He barely misses through that spot dodge there. It's looking pretty rough. He tried to go and get that, and he oh, gets the counter, nice. and that's it. Vladin gonna take it 2-0. 2-0, very strong victory for Vladin. He's gonna 